Good morning. I'm Jan Cope, Provost to the Cathedral, and it's my joy to welcome you to our service this morning on Tuesday, January the 11th. Let us pray. Lord God, you've brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And at all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our lesson for today is taken from the Gospel of John, the first chapter beginning at the 19th verse. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I'm not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know the one who is coming after me. I'm not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. I love this scripture. Who are you? And it reminds me so much of rerun shows I watched when I was a kid. They were long ago reruns. And it was a TV show called What's My Line? And it was all about answering that question, who are you? What's your vocation? And they would have these mystery guests come on and celebrities were blindfolded. And all they could ask were questions to help them determine who the celebrity guest was. And it was such a fun sort of a show with them trying to guess and all the comedic, comedic sort of lines you can imagine. And this passage always reminds me of that show. The Levites and the priest pepper John with the who are you questions. And John spends more time answering who he is not than who he is. I am not the Messiah. Are you Elijah? No. Are you the prophet? No. Well then, who are you? What's your line? I'm the voice crying out in the wilderness, make straight the path of the Lord. You see, John rejected the identity that other people tried to put on him. He knew who he was. He knew who called him. And he knew what his ministry was about. He had absolute clarity about that, that he was to announce the one who was to come, the forerunner, the messenger of Jesus, the Messiah. He is probably a really good reminder for us in this day and age that so many people try and project their image of who we are, what we should be, or what we should be about on us. And our call is always to be clear about who we are, whose we are, in the business of being disciples of Christ, the ministry that God has called you and me to. So when you think about John and this passage, I'm going to leave you with the same question. Who are you? And what's your line? How do you, like John, get clarity on your call and to lift up the light 
to voice in the wilderness in which we inhabit in this world, being clear about I'm not the light, but the light is there. If you only look for it, if you seek it, you will find it. The light in the darkness, the darkness could never overcome it. Not then, not now, not ever. Over that we say, thanks be to God. Amen. And now I invite you to join me in the prayer our Savior Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace this day and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>